Hi everyone, so this video is going to be on a hamster cage tour. Um, so I'm going to do these videos. I'm going to do like an every month sort of cage tour I think. Um, that will include hutch tours, shed tours, cage tours etc. Um, but I don't know if it will be every month or every so many months or something. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the October one. It's going to be an October hamster cage tour. Um, please excuse like all the mess at the back. I've just filmed a video which I'm currently uploading on how to clean hamster cage and that's going to take absolutely ages to upload because it's so long um so yeah that video will be up before this one so yeah i'm just going to get on with the video so this is harry's bin cage it measures 79.5 centimeters that way 25 centimeters that way like and then 39.5 centimeters that way and that's the bottom with this top bit it measures oh what's the if I put it there, it's practically half, so it's about mm, about f 40 centimetres that way, by about, hang on, it's about the same that way, so it's about 40 by 40 by 30, something like that anyway. Um, and then we've just got this little loft area as well, which is just small. So yeah, I'm just going to begin with this top section. Okay, so this is basically Harry's large loft sleeping area. So he's got his dangling carrot here. Um, in here he's just got some of the Wilco bedding, which looks like that. He's got some of the Carefresh bedding, um, and he's got wood shavings. So the wood shavings I'm using are those ones there. And there's just the ones by Snowflake. You can get those in, uh, for cheaper in home bargains which is where I got them from for £1.50 whereas someone commented on my haul video which I uploaded today um, which is Tuesday by the way um, saying that they paid £7 in pets at home so yeah Harry's just came up his tube but then went back down so here he's just got this um, iPod wood chew so he's chewed the loofah on this bit but and he's chewed a little bit there but he hasn't really taken much notice since that he's got bedding on his nose <laughs> Howie. <laughs> um, here we just got his tube, which, ha as you can see, he's like shredded. He absolutely loves this tube, and he's chewed it as well. Um, so yeah, that just goes in the corner. He has this orange wood chew here, which is a new one. This carrot wood chew, which is chewed a bit there. His yeast cheese chew, which he this is his second one, and this is partially destroyed it he's got a mineral wheel here his food bowl here a corn wood chew just down here then we have harry you've got a wet nose you've been playing with your water bottle oh sorry mate sorry and then he's got his house so that's for the top bit and that's just a little overview um i'm just going to basically just take off the lid bit now and then i'll be back Okay, so here we have his main section, like this is mainly his play area really. Um, so this is where he's got mainly all of his toys and stuff. So again, the bedding is the snowflake wood shavings, which are really, really, really good quality and absolutely love them. The Carefresh um, hide and seek bedding. And then over here we've just got the Wilco bedding. And then Harry's just checking out his cold wet nose from his water bottle. <laughs> So here we have this funny shaped um, wood chew. I think this one might be by Rotostack, but I got it as a prize from um, Ellie and Oakley. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then we have this orange, no, not orange shape, um, carrot shaped one, which he's took a little liking to and chewed. He has this red one, which is just a cube and it's supposed to go on a kebab, but. Uh, I haven't got a cup for Harry yet, I think I might get him one actually. Um, and he's chewed there as well. He has his bamboo tunnel which he absolutely adores. Um, he spends quite a lot of his time in there actually when he's playing out because it's quite a really really good sort of little hideout for hamsters. So I really do recommend tunnels for hamsters. Here we have a salt mineralic and this is one by Sharples and Grant. Uh, and that's really good but I'm not too sure where he takes much notice of it but I'll just leave it in there anyway. And I just attach it on this nut and bolty thing here. We have a seed bell, which he absolutely adores seed bells. Um, and these are really good as well. They're only about 50 pence. Oh, 50 pence. You can actually get them cheaper. 
but I pay about 50 pence and it's just a million and it's got selective seeds in there which oh hamsters enjoy keep flowing out of my hands then we have here living well water bottle which I absolutely love this water bottle it's really good quality and it's got where is it <laughs> it's at the top it's got a floating carrot in it which sort of lets you know when the water's low but it gets changed every day so the carrot shouldn't really go that low then back into the cage he has this orange wood chew which is like exactly the same as the one I showed you upstairs but this was his first ever wood chew um, when, it, when I first got him as well and I got Harry in February of this year 2012 um, so yeah that's that need to break up a few of these wood shavings a bit more um, he's got this wood chew here just to sort of sort of take his attention away from these but he doesn't take notice um, take no notice of them I did have fleece on there but I actually I, bleh, I actually had to take them off because when I was uh, washing Harry's bin out uh, earlier um, they got wet so I'll get you a treat in a second Harry yeah good boy just pouch it uh, here we've just got this triangle wood chew so it's just like a natural chew it's just got bark on it and yeah it was actually off a bird toy um, from a long while ago behind here i put quite a lot of bedding just because he likes to make a bed in this corner but um, at the moment because like when I first sort of clean this cage out he'll move home like 10 times before he actually decides where he wants to sleep but he's actually sleeping in his holiday house at the moment we have uh, his little toilet I don't know what the hell that's doing there um, but he's got his little toilet and he's hid his cheesy chew behind it so I'm just going to pop that on top of his house actually he absolutely adores those cheesy chews and it really is a shame that you can't get them in the UK because they're one of his favourite toys ever and he's trying to escape you've been in your ball today mister um, he has another uh, wooden chew tool which is supposed to go on a kebab but he hasn't really touched this one he has another carrot chew which he hasn't touched <laughs> then he has a pile of wood sticks he's got five there including the kiwi stick and then we've got some willow sticks and then we have his edible tunnel which he also absolutely adores but he doesn't eat it you be cutie Harry <laughs> so yeah that's basically uh, Harry's cage tour and he's just a really quick overview so yeah I hope you like Harry's cage um, and I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm planning on getting a tripod by the way hopefully um, maybe hopefully getting a tripod um, but yeah thanks for watching